Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Allow me to thank and to welcome the servant of God, Apostle Olsen Marko. Our church Biera. Tingo batanza maoko. Tiva farire manguanani an. Mzita rajesu. Hallelujah. I welcome you all to the house of God and uh, thank you so much for coming to hear the message of God this morning. And I believe Kutimarivana Roshoko, Richard Tivandu Zamangwanani Anu. God does not have a habit of making us gather for nothing. But when we gather in his presence, he has a word to speak to us. And he has good intentions for us. So this morning I believe that the Lord has good intentions for each and every one of us. And his word is going to leave us somewhere this morning. The word of God is going to transform us. It is going to uplift our spirits. Hallelujah. How many are expectant this morning? Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we want to take our reading this morning from the book of Matthew, chapter number 11. The book of Matthew, the gospel according to Matthew, chapter number 11, verse number 12. Matthew, chapter number 11, verse number 12. I shall read. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak on a message this morning that I have titled, By Force. Tell your neighbor and say, By Force. By Force. In Shona we say in Echisimba. Hallelujah. The word of God in the Gospel of Matthew is talking about a scenario where Jesus was speaking to the multitudes. We all know that Jesus, during his ministry, wherever he was, there was a great number of people who would gather around to listen to his messages. People were eager to hear from the Messiah. They were eager to hear what Jesus had to say. So at this time, he is speaking to a great multitude, a gathering of people who had come to hear his message and to see the manifestation of the power of God through his ministry. And the Bible is saying that the scripture is saying, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. So here, who is John the Baptist? And why is Jesus specifically mentioning from the days of John the Baptist? And why is he not saying from the days of the prophet Elijah or from the days of the prophet Isaiah? Why particularly the days of John the Baptist? So who is John the Baptist? I'm sure most of us have heard about John the Baptist, if not all of us. If you went to Sunday school, we used to sing the story of the John the Baptist, hallelujah, John the Revelator, hallelujah. So John the Baptist was a forerunner who was appointed and anointed by God. We know his story. He is the son of uh, Elizabeth who gave birth to him at an advanced age. His father was Zechariah, the priest of God. And his parents gave birth to him miraculously at an advanced age where they were no longer expected to bear children. So he is a miracle child. And John was born six months before Jesus. So the distance between their birthdays was just six months. They, their ages 
were just apart by six months. So John came before Jesus as a forerunner, introducing the coming of the Messiah. So John's ministry was just to introduce the coming of the kingdom of heaven, the coming of the Messiah, the coming of the Lord Jesus. So that was his ministry. If you read the Gospels, you will find that at one time, at some points in time, the people would ask John, are you the Messiah? But John's ministry, he was clear from the onset of his ministry that I am not the Messiah. I'm simply a forerunner preparing the way for the Messiah. And the coming of John was prophesied earlier on by the prophet Isaiah that he would come as a voice crying in the wilderness, preparing the way for the Messiah. So John came to fulfill scripture that had been prophesied by Isaiah. And the reason why Jesus is mentioning John the Baptist, that from the days of John the Baptist, he is referring to him because John played a critical role by preparing the way for Jesus to come. So John's ministry was just there to prepare the people of the coming of the Messiah. His word, his message was simply prepare the kingdom of heaven is coming. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Messiah is about to come. John preached the gospels of, of salvation to people. He turned the hearts of people to God. He made people receive Christ. He made people repent their sins. He baptized people and he brought people to the kingdom of God. That was his mandate. So here now, the scripture is now saying, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffereth violence. Why did Jesus specifically say the kingdom of God suffers violence? John the Baptist, when he began to teach about the coming of the Messiah, there was a period of time where people were just living anyhow. The devil, in other words, was in control. The kingdom of darkness was ruling. People were being idolaters. They were worshipping other gods. They were sinning against God. And there was just a darkness which was prevailing. But now when John began to decree and declare and proclaim the coming of the Messiah, it means that in the realm of the spirit, John declared a war. And he began to announce to the world, he began to announce even to the kingdom of darkness, that the Messiah, the liberator, was about to come to liberate people from captivity into the goodness of the kingdom of God. So the reason why Jesus is saying from the days of John the Baptist the kingdom of God suffers violence is because there was now a war which was ongoing between the kingdom of the devil and the kingdom of God. And when Jesus came, he brought a type of ministry where he began to demonstrate the manifestation of the power of the Holy Spirit. If you read this chapter, it tells you that uh, the disciples, John had sent his disciples to Jesus. At this time, John was in prison. So John came as a forerunner of Jesus Christ. He preached of the coming of the Messiah. And what happened? Herod put him in prison. So when John was put in prison, his ministry ceased. And Jesus came into play. The ministry of Jesus started. So now when the, the, the people were expecting a Messiah who was going to come in the physical realm. They were expecting a physical liberator who would wage war against the Roman Empire and liberate them from captivity. Little did they know that the Messiah whom, was, whom John was talking about was a physical Messiah. Hallelujah. He would come in the power of the Holy Ghost. He was not coming to liberate them physically, but to take away captivity from the kingdom of darkness and bring them into the kingdom of God. So at this point in time, John was in prison and he was expecting that since the Messiah had come, probably he was going to be taken out of prison. Jesus would fight and liberate them and he would be released from prison. So imagine that the forerunner of Jesus, the one who was telling people that Jesus is about to come, the one who was preparing the way for the Messiah, also began to have doubts in his spirit. He began to doubt that is he really the Messiah or we shall wait for another. So he sent his disciples 
and asked Jesus, are you the one or should we expect another? And what did Jesus say? Jesus did not rebuke John. I want you to see something here, child of God. Even though you are mightily used by God, even though you are at a level where you say you know the things of God, sometimes doubt can also come into you. Imagine the role that John was playing, but as, as, as such an important role with such an anointing, he still also came to a point where he doubted. So I want you to know, child of God, that doubt can also visit you even when you are at a position of strength in the kingdom of God. So John began to doubt. But what I love about John is he did not just keep his doubts to himself. He did not allow his doubts to, de to derail him from believing in Christ. But what did he do? He took the doubts to Jesus. Glory be to God. And this morning, I'm just encouraging you, child of God, when you begin to feel doubt of the word of God, when you begin to feel that maybe the word of God it, it does not mean what, does not do what it says, when you begin to doubt what the word of God says concerning your situation, I want you to take it back to God. Hallelujah. Go on your knees and pray and begin to ask God, Lord, your word says, so why is it like this in my life? And I tell you, God will give you comfort and peace in your situation. So John took his doubts to Jesus. He sent his disciples and told them to ask Jesus, are you the one? Are you the Messiah? Are you the liberator? Or should we expect another to come? So when Jesus, when John's disciples came to Jesus, Jesus did not rebuke John. He did not rebuke them. But he simply demonstrated the power of God. He simply preached the gospel to the poor. And he said, go and tell John what you have seen. Hallelujah. That the lame walk, the blind receive their sight. The dead are being raised from the, from the, from the dead. And the poor, the gospel has been preached unto them. So Jesus simply told the disciples to go and give evidence of what the Messiah was bringing. Hallelujah. Go and give evidence of the kingdom of God and what it entails and what it has and what it brings into the lives of people who accept it. Glory be to Jesus. So this morning, ladies and gentlemen, the Holy Spirit has just given me a simple task. And in the few minutes that I'm going to be standing here, allow me to explain to you how the devil doesn't want you to get the blessings and the full manifestation of God's kingdom. Hallelujah. Allow me to explain to you how and why the devil doesn't want you to know the truth and how, why he doesn't want you to get the full blessings which are in the kingdom of God and how you can fight against him. Glory be to Jesus. So what Jesus is talking about, he's saying the kingdom of Heaven suffers violence from the days of John the Baptist, from the moment John began to declare the coming of the Messiah. And now Jesus has come with the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. There is a war that is ongoing. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that when you receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, the kingdom of God comes on you. Hallelujah. It is in you. The kingdom of God is not a place. It is not a place that you can put, point your hand to say that is the kingdom of God. No. It is a supernatural realm where God's dominion prevails. Hallelujah. Where God takes over. Where God reigns supernaturally. It is a realm in the spirit and it abides in you. From the moment you say Lord Jesus come into me the kingdom of God comes and take abodes it abodes in you. It takes its residence inside of you. So you become a child of God in his kingdom. But I want you to know that the moment you receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, it means you are giving up another kingdom which was ruling and reigning in your life. And that is the kingdom of the devil. And what happens is that when you say Jesus coming to me and the kingdom, you allow the kingdom of God to come and abide in you. You are now in the realm where the Lord, God Almighty reigns, where his supernatural power prevails. And what 
that means is that you have already declared war against the devil. But I want to tell you something. That sometimes you may see that you would receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. You are living as a child of God in his kingdom. But still you have fights. You have battles. You have obstacles in your way. Still you are living in poverty. Still you are sick. Still you are being limited. Still there are challenges. There are issues. I want you to know that you are fighting a full time devil who does not want to let go of your life. He does not want you to find out and to enjoy the truth that is in the kingdom of God. He doesn't want you to experience the full manifestation of the blessings that are found in the kingdom of God. So what the devil wants you to do is to curse God. He wants you to say there is no God. He wants you to make God a liar. He wants you to think that the word of God is never going to be fulfilled upon your life. But this morning, the Holy Spirit has sent me to speak to your spirit to tell you that there is a greater kingdom in you. You already have power for the kingdom of God to completely and fully manifest in you. But I want to tell you something. Though the kingdom is already in you and you already have access to that power, it just does not come to you. Because you have an enemy who wants to see to it that you do not prosper. You have an enemy, a spiritual entity that does not want to see you prosper in this life. That does not want to see the blessings of the kingdom of God manifesting upon your life. But I'm happy because Jesus is saying, and the violent take it by force. This morning, the Holy Spirit wants to raise violent men and women, a violent generation that says, if I am in the kingdom, I should enjoy the benefits of the kingdom. If I am a child of the kingdom, I should take everything that belongs to me. Whatever the Lord has destined for my life must manifest according to the blueprint set by God and God has sent me this morning to raise a generation who have a violent spirit who say I will not settle for anything less than what God said is for me I will not settle for troublesome children when God said I should be blessed with good children I'm not going to set for it for settle for a troublesome marriage when God says I should enjoy marital bliss ladies and gentlemen the word of God says God is not a respecter of persons meaning to say if someone who's seated next to you has made it to some degree in life what then is stopping you from making it what then is stopping you as an equal child of God with an equal access to the power in the kingdom of God with an equal access to the blessings of God if you are like the person who's sitting next to you you have the same body you have spirits you are a human just like that person why then should that person have a breakthrough why then should other people's doors open I'm here to tell you child of God in the kingdom of God for you but there is a force that closes those doors against your will. There is a force that rises from the kingdom of darkness. There is a force from hell that was assigned for your individual life to make sure that when you want to take a step forward, that force goes before you and stands as an obstacle in your way. For you to push a wall, you don't don't need much effort. That wall will go down. But for you to push down a wall, you need to be aggressive. You need 
light strength. You need forcefulness. Unotoda ne sando ne sando. Unotoda ne shikreda ne ma bulldozer to take down that wall of stone. So this force of darkness that you are fighting, the devil and his fallen angels and his demons, they are a force of stone that is standing in your way. But I'm happy because Jesus is saying violent men can take it by force. Violent people can grab it by force. And this morning, the Lord God Almighty has sent an anointing which is going to come upon some simple people here, which is going to descend upon some simple people here that are listening to me. That force is going to make them violent people. That force is going to make them violent men and women who are going to say this wall of stone standing in my path. When I stand in my prayer closet and begin to proclaim it will move in the name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, the word of God says it's not by might and not by power, but the kingdom that you joined, the kingdom that you came into is greater than the kingdom that you are living. It is greater than the kingdom that rules this earth. The kingdom of God is a superior realm. There is nothing that is greater than the kingdom of God. There is no kingdom that is greater than the kingdom of God. There is no spiritual entity that is greater than the kingdom of God. It is just a matter of you raising your faith. Ladies and gentlemen, atina kungo piwa kutenda, kutitingo gara nako, mchesu manu haruku taura pano, awasi watendi wa zinge kenyeke, awasi watendi wa kapora pora, awasi watendi wa kawota wota, but watendi wa no zika no na satan, kutika na wamira pa kuna mata, ano tanga kungwenda ni kingdom yake, because ano tozoti uyu kanasi muka kutana mate, isusu we don't have an option, takutongo suduruka, diro ruzi rwanda tuma na mwari, kuzo muta mangwana ni ano, ruzi runo suduru sa jine naru, ruzi runo visa na koma kamira mberi kwaru, ruzi runo mira, ruchiti I am a simple person, I am a mortal being, ndakasikwa ni nyama ni ropa, but greater is he that is in me, and when I stand to pray, it is no longer Rumbitsai who is praying, but by the power of the Holy Ghost I pray, and when I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, stubborn situations move out of my way. Ladies and gentlemen, ndinawa maripano mangwana ni anu, vane jinu jiri stubborn, vane jinu jakamira, vane ma stone walls akati zimberi kwa avo, but mangwana ni anu, ndawea kuzokupa formula, Eh, eh, wakambo na mata. Eh, eh, unosivaku na mata. Eh, eh, shoko unaro raka zara maure. Bati jini jajisi kumufa. Chino itika kuvanu wakasikuwa na mare. Ndeche kuti chinu chese pa chino tanga kuyamu penyewe munu. Muna ano vunduka. Shaka fanane kuti muna kapi wa diagnosis nasa. Ye kutane sugar, ne cancer, ne BP. Ano vunduka, ano no taza kurara. But over time, ano tanga kujaira. Kutai wandosha topo gamchira Bati wandiri kutawura nao nasa Dema noti inini nda karamba kushikamchira Inini nda ramba kukamchira This limitation Vano gamchira ne kukusika na ndiva avo Vano da avo kurarama ne limitation ndiva avo But I want to be a remnant I want to be part of the violent army of God I want to be part of the violent people of God Who take it by force Ladies and gentlemen, the devil has stolen some things from your life. The devil has stolen your capacity. The devil has stolen your potential. Some of you, the devil has stolen your time. The devil has stolen your health. But you will not recover it. You are about to rise, child of God. You need to rise up and stand up and develop a spirit man that is forceful. You need to have a spirit that is aggressive. Some things will not just come child of God. Manawa wane makore 
chuna matira asi kuzouya ni katype ke prayer kaunoita ndati murume wa uri kuda kuti auye asi kuzouya ni ka prayer kaunoita ari kutozouya once you be begin to develop an aggression inside of you once you begin to send and say and chada wakaipa no mira pamberi pangwa the reason why the spirit of god has sent me this morning is because he wants you to have an understanding of why things are not working well in your life he wants you to understand there are two kings and kingdoms at battle in your life there are two kingdoms waging war in your life there is a kingdom of god which has good plans for you already laid out and just waiting for you to come in and once you just step into the kingdom and when the kingdom comes in you you become a part of that kingdom and its blessings and manifestation and and, and blessings should manifest fully upon your life but there is another kingdom which will not just let you go like that that kingdom will not just release you like that vamwe murukuru wisana ne zvinhu zvane ma kore zvane over hundreds of years and wewe une 24 years zekurarama if you are not adam and child of god that disease that generational pattern will also take you down vamwe venyu ma kutochembera uchitadza kukunda that generational cycle so the devil the holy spirit rather wants you to know that when you go into prayer you must know that there are two kingdoms fighting a battle over your life and it is up to you which kingdom will win the other kingdom has already given you the, 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 the means of weapon the weapons and the means of war to fight you already have the weapons of war at your disposal you already have the anointing at your disposal but it is up to you to determine which kingdom wins saka ukada hako kuramba uchinama ta zinge kenge kera kwa iroro ayu wandati izi ashis kuzobatika the kingdom of god has divine health it has supernatural provision it has goodness and mercy overflowing it has that marriage that you long for it has that job that you are praying to it has everything that you want but the devil is fighting you and he won't let you go that easily so child of god this morning I'm here to ignite your spirit. I'm here to set a fire inside of you. A fire of aggression, a fire of war, a fire of warfare. Ana baba na namaita neta nekuparidzira vanhu ye in and out. Pasina chino shanduka pa life yako. Gore rino tiri kuenda kumakomo every month kunonamata. Gore rino tiri kumuka pakati pehusiku tichinamata. Gore rino tiri kuverenga Bible sati chipedza meaning to say hakuna chinofanira kukutadzisa kuti makoma kandira mberi kwa kwa suduruke but mangwana ni ano zvatiri kuita zvese izvi zviri kufanira ku partner ne aggression yemwe yawako zviri kufanira ku partner nemwe yawako ne naro nemwe yawako ne hasha nemwe yawako uri violent so that you can take it by force what is to take something by force it means there is someone who's holding on to something and parukuita hondo uyakabata ari kutandisi kuda nacho but ari kuda kutora ari kuchida saka vamwe venyu you are praying but mina mato yenyu is not aggressive enough uri kusherera uto chiguma but uyano kukurira nekuti hauna power pakunamata but the devil is a liar he allowed you to come into this service ato irasa because now you are coming out of this room with an anointing that is going to put a fire inside of you and that fire will raise an aggression ya usatu wakambonzwa kunyangwe 111 years uchirwara wakati ogamchira kuti ndino mawapirits every day but suddenly after this service mune rimwe simba richa muka mauri simba richa tikochirwere ichi chakabvepi simba chati this is not my portion simbali chati shekusabereka izandichada some of you 
I am reminded of the issue of the woman, the story of the woman with the issue of blood. Ladies and gentlemen, I love this woman because this woman had access into the kingdom of God. But Chaka Ziva, Deche Kuti, Diripomu crowd, Irkutera Jess, Diripomu Mom, Irkufamba na Jess. But if I'm not adamant, if I'm not aggressive, if I'm not violent, this opportunity will pass me by. So what did she do? Hallelujah. She went on all fours. Akafuga mane mabiake. That's my assumption. Because pono no na mna chiba tachino zimpendero. It means ane levora ato yenda pasi kuta shikire. Zichida ne dasta katori meza. But she knew kuti this is my only opportunity. Child of God, why do you miss opportunities? How many times do you come into the presence of God? How many times do you have access to the power of God? It results sides in you what you see and then you go Nekuti mkazu ya akarana mangu wa jesa satafa. But isuzu tana ye matiri. Saka uye mkazu anga kukunde mwana wamari. Anoti this is my only chance. If I'm not violent, I will not take my healing by force. So she went down on all fours. And started to navigate mtsafu tevanu. Akati ndi tsike ishengi ndoto chibata chete. Akati guru wa ngari simuke. Ngari ndi kachuze. Ngari ndi toshore. But mpende rondo. This is my only opportunity and I'm going to get what belongs to me. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning I'm looking for people that will say, Pastor, enough is enough in my life. Thank you for such a word. You have stirred up my spirit. Jekwita ministry never was shown and each other. Jekwita ushumiru singa fanda and each other. Jekwiti business rangwa rifanda and each other. Jeku vurajinu nichivara and each other. Jeku pinda ma interview and singa shet kwa kubasa and each other. But mpendero and wawa nda kubata. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to treat every opportunity that you get in the presence of God to say this is my last chance and give it your all. Kushika wachibata. Mwaya mchena arikuchaga wane naru. Arikuchaga waka simba. Arikuchaga wari willing. Kuruisa na nema demoni. Anababa na nama isatana na simba ratino mupa. Ndati satana na simba ratino mupa. Tisu tine dambu ziko pa kusana mata. Tisu tine dambu give up but this morning children of the most high God you belong to a kingdom that does not allow you to fail you belong to a kingdom that reigns and rules above every other contrary spirit and you have power in you the moment you said Jesus come into my spirit come into my heart I accept you and all that is yours behold he gave you power to tread upon serpents, power to tread upon scorpions, power over all the power of the enemy. You have power. You just need to be violent. You just need to take it by force. You just need to know you are fighting a devil who will not just let go like that. He needs you to speak fire. He needs you to bring all the ammunition that you have. Children of the Most High God from today, make up your mind and say, Mary, I will not lose a battle to the devil. And say, Mary, I will not lose a tender to the devil. And say, Mary, I will not lose my health to the devil. And say, Mary, the devil will not abort my destiny. He will not cause me to die pre Maturely. He will not my, cause my children to abort their destinies. Vana vangu. Avasi kuzo short chen wa upenyu. Avasi kuzo short chen kwa na satan. Kune vane vane varu kuputa mbanche munomu. Ije ju upenyu waka pana churuku ye murika. But you should not ambere kane hasha. Mubere kanotindiru kutora beka. Life ye mana wangu by force. 
the devil will give it up. The devil will let it go. If only you can be adamant. If only you can be aggressive in your approach. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. So from the days of John the Baptist until now, there is a war that is going on. The kingdom of God suffers violence. Only the violent take it by force. There are a lot of good things in the kingdom. All the good things that you want are in the kingdom. But there is a kingdom that also fights the kingdom of God. There is a being an Satan who fights against everything that is of God. But this morning, and I want you to go to that heaven. But one the life that God wants you to live in this world. Life you know Ita naro mauri Ngamu vene makakata nwa mauri Mamwe ma situation na wanomalaiza Jume jinu jawa gamchira mkatimako Hajifanire kunge jakadaru Tine simba rataka piwa na jeso Akatoti it is finished pa mchinji kwa Jakuti right now We are busy disappointing Jesus Because what he died for is not manifesting in your life You are too weak to grab What he died for on the cross of Calvary don't let the death of Jesus go in vain. Don't let his effort and love go in vain. But I want you to stand with him and say, Lord Jesus, for everything that you died for me on the cross, I will walk in it. If you say divine healing is mine, I will walk in it. If you said I should live in goodness, I should live in progress, I should have all the good things of life, I am taking them by force. I will not let a devil, I will not let the devil who was defeated, defeated already on the cross of Calvary to take what is mine in the name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, the devil is crafty. The devil manipulates your mind. He manipulates your thoughts. He manipulates you so that you spend most of your time doing things now paying you. You spend time on social media instead of spending it in the word of God, gathering ammunition, becoming stronger, building your spirit so that when you stand in battle, so that you spend your time on social media. Fungwa zako zaka zara social media. Zaka zara zirkuta urwapa social media. And now you go into prayer. You want to fight a full time devil who spends his day crafting strategies to bring you down you will not prevail against him it takes those that spend their time feeding themselves on the word which gets them shower which it, I can do all things through Christ which gets them shower which it, I am strengthened by the word of God which build ammunition I tell you child of God when you step into prayer. You don't even need to open your mouth. Uninge watu zara ni simbara vamu shokura waskura uchi meditate. Dosaka jesu akate. This kind does not just go. This kind ndova mwayamuru kusanga nanayo. But nda wiyo zoku zoti ino enda by force. You need to be forceful. You need to be violent and aggressive. And this kind will will let you go. This kind will let you go. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is raising a violent generation this morning. And I pray that you may have that edge in your spirit. I pray right now that your spirit may be stirred up. As I'm preaching right now, there is an anointing that I can feel which is descending upon God's people. There is a power, a force that is coming to ignite your spirit. From today, some of you are going to testify could you suddenly I can now fight the devil I can now pray aggressively suddenly the tanga kuona madoza kufurika ano zaru kama suwa child of God that war that is standing before you ino gwena kufisika kana ukamira strong in prayer it only takes you to rise up in prayer it only takes you to be forceful it only takes you to be aggressive 
you will not be able to possess your possessions. You will not be able to take hold of all that is in the kingdom of God for you unless you rise up and fight. It doesn't come to those that are weak. Healing does not come just like that. Some of you it took years for the devil to plant that sickness in your body. Do you think you just let it go? You need to fight. You need to fight for your marriage. Some of you are fighting generational spirits that are ancient. You need to be aggressive when you pray. You need to fight and not stop. You need to fight and not stop. I want to change. You need to be aggressive, child of God. The violent take it by force. And you are that violent man. You are that violent person. You are that violent person. Your spirit is violent and aggressive. But you know, you are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it in prayer. But from today, the Holy Spirit is looking for those who are available. Who will say, Father, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to pray and fast. I'm going to push this wall until it goes down. The Spirit of the Lord is looking for people who will not give up and give in. People who will say, Dinomira, Dinor Wakshkajaita. People who say, though the opposition is coming, but there is a greater force in me. Greater is he that is in me. When that Lord says, greater is he that is in you, he means there is a greater power in you than any other power that you can think of. You must not be afraid, child of God. You must not be defeated by any situation. There is a war that is ongoing. But the kingdom of God has already prevailed. Hallelujah. You need to use that power in you. You need to activate that power in you. To make sure that you get your victory. The victory that Jesus died for on the cross is already there inside of you. I'm going to invite you to stand on your feet. We want to pray. We want to pray. We want to be violent in prayer this morning. I want you to look at that situation that has been bothering you for some time. That stubborn situation that will not go. Today it is going to go. Hallelujah. Today it is going to go. Because when you prayed yesterday, you were a different person from today. You were a different person from now. Your spirit has been revived. You have the right ammunition to fight. I want you to raise your voice right now and begin to decree and declare. I want you to raise your voice and begin to pray. Raise your voice. Huh? Begin to pray against that step on situation. I want you to tell the devil that enough is enough in my life. I will make it. I am coming out of bondage. Those chains are loosing me. Those chains are letting me go. Come on, begin to pray. Come on, decree and declare. Come on, raise your voice. By force we can take it. By force we take what is ours. By force we take what is ours. I'm taking my job by force. I'm taking my business by force. We are taking Baba what is ours by force. We are taking our divine health by force. We are taking our divine possessions by force. Yakamanda Bashekate. Yendere Bosata Bashikate.